hi guys and welcome back to my channel welcome back to the second mb series if you're new here you're highly welcome do check out the introductory video so that you can be all caught up and understand what's going on here so in this video as the title said i'm going to basically tell you how second mb works please watch this video to the end to get the entire bulk of the information like this video leave your comments below and subscribe if you have not subscribed so before i go into the details of how second mb works let me start by saying this preparing for your second mb exam starts from your second year if you're in second year and you're just you're just getting to second year and you're hearing that your seniors are about to take second MBA exams. I mean, your seniors in third year about to take second MBA exams, and you're like, you know, consign me. That's a lie because second MBA exams start from second year. And as I explain further, you understand why I said that second MBA exam starts from your second year. In the second MB program or the second MB class, there are three semesters and three courses. Rule of three. I don't know there are three semesters and there are three courses your second year makes up two semesters while your third year has just like the first semester of your third year is a third semester okay the truth is that after your first year in medical school from your second year in medical school you do not take the normal semester exams that every other person in the university take and slightly your program changes like the calendar of your program changes it's no longer the same as other like courses okay so three semesters three courses anatomy physio biochemistry one two three semesters and in these semesters you're going to be doing the three different courses but in different sections for example in the first semester you're going to do an introduction just general knowledge basic knowledge that you should have in that particular course for example, anatomy in my school, anatomy usually starts with upper limb and gradually goes to the um, cardiovascular, that's the thorax, sorry, that's the thorax, then goes to the abdomen, then goes to the lower limb, then comes back to head and neck by the third semester. So, different groups. You see how anatomy is being grouped, upper limb, thorax, abdomen, lower limb, head and neck, then neuroanatomy. While physiology has things like general physiology, blood physiology, um, cardiovascular physiology, um, renal physiology, etc., etc., basically telling you the normal function of each system in the body, telling you how the kidneys function usually, normally, that is renal physiology, telling you how the hormones and the endocrine system functions, that is endocrine physiology reproductive physiology etc etc et these systems are divided into three and um, placed in each semester biochemistry is not left out at all it has um carbohydrate protein lipids nucleic acids um um, um xenobiotics etc 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 et all grouped in special ways like there's a reason why there is an order in each classes just follow this thought process and think about it like this there is a reason why there is an order usually the first semester is like an introduction teaching you the basics teaching you the um for like anatomy usually starts with some um key what would i call this now words that are common in anatomy that you need to know for example flexion extension internal rotation adduction adduction um um etc basically why are these things important because as you go further if you don't understand the basics as you go further it's going to seem complex so that first semester is in my own word is critical this is one of the reasons why i said that your second mb starts from your second year in med from your first semester of your second year in medical school that is when your second mb start at the end of the semesters at the end of each semesters you're going to write a test but the truth is in medical school all the tests you're going to be writing is going to be in an exam format i mean they're not going to say oh tear a piece of paper 
um, write an essay on this or give you 20 questions it's going to be 100 questions 50 questions 150 questions it's easy but it's a test because at the end of the year, all the tests you're going to write is going to be squeezed into 30 marks i almost said a miserable 30 marks but that 30 marks is not a miserable 30 marks and i will explain for that as i go so at the end of each semester you're going to write a test and the test is usually over 100 when the result comes out so there's the first semester test there's the second semester test and there's the third semester test and these things comprise of what you did that semester for example in first semester you do anatomy of the upper limb um, anatomy of the thorax anatomy of the part of the abdomen then you do physiology of blood physiology respiratory physiology excitable tissues general physiology you do biochemistry you just do the basics of the chemistry of carbohydrate the chemistry of protein the chemistry of lipids so at the end you're going to write a first semester test but again stimulated in an exam format what is called first semester test remember in medical school once you cross over once you cross over to your second year you don't write semester exams like every other person in the college you do write exams at the end of the semester but they are called tests not exams okay so at the end of each semester you're going to write a test so that's like three tests now right so once is your third semester after writing your third semester test you're going to be given a period of time where you're going to now take the mock examination the mock examination usually comprises of every single thing that has been taught from first semester second year till third semester usually um some like my school there was a certain time when my school wasn't writing third test anymore so what they wrote was first test second test and mock mock is part of your continuous assessment in assessing or in grading second and be divided into two your continuous assessment aka ca and your main exam in your continuous assessment you have things like your first test second test third test your mock your practicals your practical manual sometimes your practical manual can be scored attendance is compulsory find out what your school says about attendance i don't think there's any school in nigeria that doesn't have compulsory attendance in my school is nothing less than 75 percent attendance if you don't have that you're not sitting for the main exam so your ca is 30 marks and has all those things that i mentioned then your main exam is 70 marks so i told you that your ca has your mock in it and mock has first semester second semester third semester and all everything you've been taught in those semesters is embedded in your mock it's basically preparing you for your main exam but honestly it's usually mcq so it's basically preparing you for the mcq part of your main exam because now in your main exam your main exam has four parts in it the mcq the essay the practicals and the viva so mcq's multiple choice question you're giving a, a question with a group of options where you have to pick the one that is the most correct best choice of the answer sometimes they are negative except i don't i honestly don't know why they do that silent except in medical school what do i mean by silence except they can say something like concerning the red blood cells that's the question then they give you a group of options you don't know if it if you don't know so much about the red blood cell you don't know if that question has like a silent except like they can be a silent concerning the red blood cells the following are true except or which of the following is true so you have to be able you have to have a good knowledge of the red blood cells for you to know oh okay a is correct c is correct that means this is a silent except that means one must be wrong or a is correct d is correct c is correct that means one, one out of either b or c must be wrong so it's a silent except that kind of scenario so you have multiple choice questions and silent except so the main exam has the mcq as i just said it also has the essay where we ask a certain question and you're supposed to write either extensively or a short note or just basically write about what you're being asked so this is why it's important that you go to attend your classes and know the mind of your lecturers so that you know what exactly is required of you 
when you're writing it so that's all about the essay usually the mcq has about the mcq and the essay can have the same scores or sometimes the essay has a higher score than the mcq depending on what your school has decided so the next thing you have is your alternative to practicals your alternative to practicals is alternative to practicals for physiology and biochemistry but in anatomy the case is different in anatomy there are two kinds of practicals that you do both on the same day but like two different kinds one is the gross part of it the gross anatomy part of it the other is the histology part of it so in the gross anatomy part of it both of them together are called simple chase basically the chase in the name should give you a clue you're going to be timed and you're going to be running so for example for in the gross anatomy part you can be asked about 30 questions with let's say a one minute or a two minute um, time placed on each question so it's going to be like a round or like a zigzag arrangement where the first person comes in answers the qu like it's you're going to be on the line like you and your people classmates are going to be on the line so they ring the bell the first person starts answer the question they ring the next they ring the bell again for time up you move to the next question the person behind you moves to the question that you just finished they ring the bell again you move to the next question the person behind you moves to the next the question that you just finished like that like that like that till you're done with the entire 30 questions and you have about um let me say a minute to two minutes depending on how much time they give you so find out what is the case in your school so you have a minute to two minutes to answer that question and you can get questions like soft tissue for example i can show you the liver turn it upside down label it like an arrow to it or label it a or b or whatever and they can ask you what is labeled a what can be labeled a can be the um portal vein it means that you have to have a good knowledge of how the liver looks like not just reading about the liver is knowing how the liver looks like i mean reading your atlas going for your cadaver um practice or your cadaver classes or just have a good grasp of the liver when you see the liver because medicine is not just theoretical it's also practical okay have this in mind bear this in mind medicine is not just theoretical it's also practical so you can have soft tissue as i said you can have the stomach you can have the liver you can have you can have bones you can the humerus can be dropped for you on the table and an arrow will be pointing there and say what is this part of the humerus called you have to know the answer or what structure passes through this part of the bone it might, it might not even be what is this it might be what is the function of this for example in the liver i say what is the function of the portal vein you need to know the function of the portal vein do you understand so you can also be given x-rays yes you can be given x-rays and they ask you what view was this x-ray taken or um the structure pointed the structure labeled x is what it's not going to be anything pathological it's just going to be basic like a normal person do you understand basic introduction basic things that they are going to ask you it might not be so basic to you now because you're confused and you're overwhelmed but just calm down calm down breathe breathe when you're done with your 30 either you do your histology first or you do your ghost anatomy um steeple chase first anyone that your school decide that your group is going to do first and after that you move to your histology basically they'll be showing you slides you see those things we're doing from second year till third year you see why i mean that when, when i say that second year this starts from second year i'm not bluffing at all so you'll be shown slides um slides are like pictures um taken from microscopes and they're being like um projected on a board and there's also a time you're spaced out they show you the slide and they ask you a question under it what is this structure what is the epithelia something something i don't know what's the function of this any question that can be asked will be asked okay and you have to do it with i think i think histology is usually 20 i'm not sure depending on your school find out once they change the slide you know you're supposed to move to the next question so you have to be like really fast you have to be time conscious okay so that's that about how this tipple chase or how the practicals in anatomy is physiology is just basic questions like 
practice practicals you've been doing from your second MB, they can ask you what is the instrument used to measure blood pressure. You give them the answer. So that's all about physiology, biochemistry, same thing. All the practicals you have done um, from your second year to your third year, they're just going to ask you direct questions on it. You're not going to actually do the practicals again. Then Viva. Viva usually gets external examiners. Your school gets external examiners to come in and ask you questions. So for example, your external, if you live in uh, Lagos, your external examiner can be from Anambra, your external examiner can be from Sokoto, your external examiner can be from Bayelsa. Just a different place that is not close to your environs. External examiner comes and they ask you questions and you answer them to the best of your ability they score you so usually i told you that mcq and sa have the same scores practicals usually have a lesser score viva depending on your school depending on your time depending on how they want to you know schedule everything and put everything together the marks may vary when it's time for it to write second mb i mean so this is how second mb works and usually um, the duration for second MB is about a month. Usually, um, you can write the first week, you can write your essay and your MCQ at the same time. The next week, you can write do your practicals. The next week is your Viva week. Then, immediately after your Viva week, like your Viva day, the next day, usually, results comes out. One 24 hours to 48 hours, your results will be out. Yes, we don't medical school does not wait like you're just going to know your fate straight up within 48 hours max you're going to know your fate you're going to know oh i passed obviously everybody watching this video right in second mb i want you guys to pass hey, jesus christ let people pass i want you guys to pass so hopefully you're going to pass prayerfully not hopefully prayerfully you're going to pass and i know you're going to study obviously you're not going to leave it to chance so yeah you get your results by two days a day sometimes 24 hours sometimes less than 24 hours sometimes less than 48 hours but if like maybe your time is peculiar and they have to do some things and sort out some things it might take a while but normally you get your second mb results the next day like normally in an apparently normal situation you get your results the same day so basically this is how second mb works and after that you move into your clinical class which is your fourth year and you keep soaring higher and higher and higher in jesus name amen so yeah guys this is how second mb works this is the end of the video i hope this video was helpful to somebody in one way or the other um do expect more from this series it's not the end of the series i have like a lot of video going up let me know if we begin to talk about it but yeah this is the end of the video don't forget to subscribe if you have not subscribed like this video and leave your comments below and i'll see you guys in my next one i love you as always Mwah. bye